The Dutch startup ecosystem is celebrated for its high degree of social and logistical connection with the rest of the world. Three startups from the Netherlands have been selected for the South by Southwest pitch final, and we invited them to ask why they should win the South by Southwest pitch. I'm Samra Salebi, I work for the city of Amsterdam. My life mission is empowering women to reach their full potential. Uh, and within my role at Startup Amsterdam at the moment, I work for female entrepreneurship and on more women in the tech, tech sector. Uh, I'm here together with these three men. Uh, welcome all of you. Um, first of all, Remco Veenbrink, uh, Veenbrink, your company's video window. And then uh, Bart Nolle, of course, from Dayrise. And then Han Dirks from Alphabets. Um, you are, your startups are nominated um, for the South by Southwest West Pitch Contest. Congratulations with your nomination, first of all. Uh, you must be very excited. Would you like to introduce yourself? And then also, how did you come up with the idea for Video Window? I'm the founder and CEO of Video Window. It started out as an artistic project. And what was it? What was your dream? To create art in, in the public domain by creating a non-intrusive transparent screen which could be fitted in front of a window. And over time we, we incorporated the sustainability aspect of this dream as well. Tell me a little bit more about you and about Alphabets, please. I'm an entrepreneur and also an artist. Um, we started this uh, this adventure journey, uh, I think, almost one and a half year ago, in the uh, high tech campus Eindhoven, uh, together with Philips. They had a beautiful patented uh, neurofeedback technology, and yeah, there was a team coming together, mm -hmm. uh, organic, organically. Uh, and at the end, uh, we stayed over with with four founders, and now we have a team of seven people, and we are all committed to solve that one big problem uh the 21st uh, health uh, epidemic is yes. so called by the uh, world health organization that is chronic stress so bart i would like to know more about you and about dayrise and how you came up with the idea yeah. dayrise is a um, is an e-commerce platform mm -hmm. where we have developed a uh, sustainability assessment tool we call the dayrise sustainability assessment tool which is lucy an algorithm that calculates impact Mm -hmm. and enables consumers to make a choice for less impactful consumption. I would like to, uh, to dive in the whole uh, subject of uh, sustainability. Uh, it's uh, one of the uh, biggest challenges uh, that we already had and that's even more prominent at the moment, of course, as you all know. I see that all your, uh, almost all your companies have a link with this topic. And I'm very curious in how you think about this topic and how you connect it to your company. And what is, according to you, the number one way we can make a substantial difference? Well, we try and look at it holistically. We'll try and look at all the aspects that, uh, that create sustainability circularity, uh, ecosystems impact, biodiversity, climate change, health, well-being, as well as purpose. And, and uh, we evaluate that holistically to be able to provide people with uh, the information that they need to make the decision at that time. It's important that when we make a decision that we don't look at one aspect of what sustainability is, but all the aspects that entail sustainability. Okay. So the whole chain, the, the whole chain is sustainable in that Yes, sense. exactly. From the moment we source raw materials, as well as input to produce a good till the moment that you're actually buying it and that you have the full circle analysis of it. And what should we do as a whole to take a few steps towards creating a more sustainable world? Yeah, well, 30 to 40 percent, 30 to 40 percent of the impact on our planet is made by individual choice. What, yeah. what, what products we buy, what products do we, do we use and how we use them. And if we are able to change people in their patterns to consume more circular and not buy more but buy good, then we will be able to, to make, a, make a change on our planet. The diversity inclusion for me is like basically my life mission. I would like to see a world well, where diversity and inclusion is the status quo. Uh, and that's also what I do within my role at Startup Amsterdam. Uh, because we see that uh, there are much less female founders uh, in the Amsterdam area at least and also in the Netherlands 
And if you look at how much venture capital uh, female founders actually raise, then it's uh, less than 1% for female-only companies and 13% for mixed uh, teams. Um, so there are, there's a lot to gain in that sense, I believe. Uh, and I'm just very curious, um, and maybe to start with you, Ham, how do you tackle this? How do you see this topic and how do you um, translate this in your business alphabet? For me, it's related also to, uh, to sustainability. It's, it's all a bigger, yeah. uh, it's all part of the bigger, uh, the bigger, bigger thing, uh, which bigger is happening. Victory. It's a kind of, yeah, kind of new re revolution, call it. But of course, you see it on the, on the other hand, and it was great, but Bart told that individual choices mainly define, uh, define what's happening with the world. So you can make the difference and you see that uh, mindset uh, happen uh, more uh, more often, oftenly, at least I see it in my friends and the people around me. So uh, consumers, our users, uh, uh, um, uh, see that and they wanted to participate with, uh, with companies and brands who have that, but also people we are uh, hiring, yes. uh, so team members, they also wanted to work for a company which... Uh, works on a sustainable business and sustainable business is in my opinion is about making impact mm -hmm. uh, and then you immediately go to diversity inclusion um, in, in the beginning of course it's hard when you are small because uh, it kind of by magic people hey, a group of people come together and then you have a company a startup yeah. in our case it's alpha beats and sometimes you're lucky and it's a, a quite div diverse team for, for example, Alphabet is diverse in, in age, but not in uh, female men, uh, because yeah. we only had uh, men at the beginning. Um, and we know that uh, to make the biggest impact, uh, you need to be diverse. So uh, in that case, it's a part of the bigger picture for us. And yeah, we are working hard on it, uh, but then still... Uh, uh, making a diverse team and uh, like you Sandra you are you are there for the position and maybe it's not the position but the, uh, the, yeah, the position women have uh, within these kind of, of ecosystems and I completely yes. agree that uh, we all have to work uh, uh, on that uh, and make it possible because uh, diversity is key uh, for making the, the right product the service. And what do you think about it uh, Remco? How do you see the whole topic? I think you, you, you grow mentally uh, stronger if you are surrounded with different mm. cultures, different uh, genders, um, different preferences in, 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 in any way. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and I think that, that builds a stronger team. So yes. uh, you would actually, it wouldn't be so smart if you just focus on one gender or, I think. And you, Bart? I think diversity is key for uh, for the future of our planet. If we don't, we a healthy family is made of a diverse group of people that challenge each other all the time. You need diversity to avoid getting into an echo chamber of a certain group of people, whether it's male dominant or any other form of dominant. And you need to have that in order to address it from different angles. You hear different things from ch children, from yes. different cultures, from different backgrounds. And I think you need that. And that's something we also build in, in, in our company. So we have 60% female in, female in our team. We have over 11 different uh, countries in our team because I think we want to build it worldwide. Yeah. We want to have that impact. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for... The good to mention is that in the South by Southwest application form, as you mentioned as well, it, it was, I think it was obligatory to, to, to have a di wow. uh, the aim for diversity. Yeah, so it was, if, I, I think that all the finalists somehow have that embedded into their culture. What are your thoughts about this whole, this new normal? And how is your startup actually, um, um, Bart, you already elaborated a bit upon it. Um, how is your startup, startup advancing this uh, for a better future? Um, maybe, Han, you would like to elaborate on that with your company, Alphabeats. Before there was any corona, COVID, it was already called the health epidemic of the 21st century, uh, stress, yes. chronic stress. And now it's, it's accelerated by, uh, by COVID. So uh, in the COVID era, stress is at an epic level. For various reasons, hey, people are navigating this new normal, you already called. They're homeschooling their kids, they're uncertain yeah. about income, so stress levels are increasing. 
and that's that's really a, really a, a, a big big problem. Uh, and yeah, we have a solution for for this. So uh, in that case, of course, it's it's great that uh, more and more people are suke- uh, seeking for a solution which kind of seamlessly fits into their way of life because it's that easy to to use alphabets. Which elements, ingredients, values, or roles uh, should we? Um Um, take from the new normal after uh, the COVID pandemic that we and what which ones should we say goodbye to? I think I hope that this answers your question that um, we shouldn't we should enjoy the moment a bit more and I think that also has to do with with coping with stress yes like as you mentioned as well uh, it's a beautiful day outside and in the rush we we tend to forget those actually very basic things that we can be grateful for. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's, it's a great weather, you know, this is a nice situation. Um, be appreciative and try to bring a smile. This is my bridge to video window. So this is what we also try to do with video window. So it, it's not just a commercial project. And yes. yes, it's a business. Yes, it needs to make money and yes. you know, we need to develop, etc., etc. But ultimately, wouldn't it be great if you look at your window and you smile because you see something that enriches you, that is meaningful in some way to you. And I think, yeah, that those are small things, but mm-hmm. they're very important. Mm-hmm. Yeah, makes sense, thank you. And you, Bart, what do you think about it? I think we have to start um, taking more consideration for the things around us and take responsibility for all our choices that we make. Mm-hmm. I think we came for an era where we were driven by personal sort of uh, growth, which is yeah. good, but not, at the, not to the extent of everything. When you look around you, you're surrounding your family, the constant things that you buy and, and consume, you have to take responsibility for that. And I hope that after this day of this, this pandemic, that people self-reflect and say, okay, what I've learned how to live with less, less freedom, uh, less, less yeah. joy maybe even during this pandemic, yeah. what can I do? to further this and, and, and make our planet a bit better for all of us. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, for the three of you, the last one, why should you win uh, the contest at South by Southwest? Very short. First, you, Han, I will, I will want to ask you first. Why should you win the contest? I think most important because uh, our team deserves a, a big party. <laughs> so I think that's a, that's a really good reason. That's a very good and, yeah, reason. No, and we all make impact. So, uh, and of course, I'm going to say that we make a, a lot of impact, but we all do make impact. Yeah. Uh, and uh, if you look at Alpha Beach, it's uh, yeah, it's 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 a new way to uh, relieve stress, which fits seamless, seamlessly in 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 your life flow because it's just really just listening to your own favorite music. So that makes it really easy and can be uh, can be of great impact of the chronic stress problem we have. But yes. most important for today, for tonight with, uh, with Bart and Remco, let's have a party. And let's, <laughs> maybe let's, let's celebrate it. One of us, one of the Dutch uh, contestants yeah. uh, will win. That yes. would be great. Thank you, Han. And you, Remco, why should you win with Video Window? Well, I'd like to add, I think we can all three win because we're all in different categories, right? So yep. we yes. can all, yes, we can all uh, win. And well, I think, it, in, indeed, it, it's mentioned before, the impact. So uh, you need to grow and you need to grow fast as a startup. And you only have a small window of momentum. And to, to strengthen that momentum, uh, a, a, a final place in, in South by Southwest is great. You know, the media attention. Um, that's it, you know, we to, to, to harvest the, the efforts put in. Yeah, yeah. And you, Bart, why should you win? <laughs> I like the party too. <laughs> no, uh, well, first and foremost, um, as a catalyst, as a catalyst to enable what we, are, what we set out to do with the team of founders, to do good and to enable people to buy good. That's why, uh, that's why we should win South by Southwest. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you all very much. I wish you a lot of luck. Uh, and I hope you definitely, all of you three, uh, will win, because that will make me very proud as a Dutch woman. <laughs> <laughs>